The Red Shoes. Once upon a time, there was a little girl, pretty and dainty, but in summertime, she was obliged to go barefooted because she was And in winter, she had to wear a large wooden shoes, so that her little insect grew quite red. In the middle of the village, an old shoemaker's wife. She sat down and made, as well as she could, a pair of little shoes out of some old pieces of red cloth. They were clumsy, but she meant well, for they were intended for the little girl, whose name was Karen. Karen received the shoes and wore them for the first time. On the day of her mother's funerals, they were certainly not suitable for mourning, but she had no others. So, she put her bare feet into them and walked behind the humble coffin. A large old carriage came by and sat an old lady. She looked at the little girl and said, said to the clergyman, Look here, if you will give me this little girl, I surely will take care of her. Karen believed that this was all on account of the red shoes. But the old lady said to throw them out. Because Karen didn't want to hurt the feelings of the old lady, the wretches were thrown to the garbage. Karen misses the presence of the red shoes. She cried all over the night. Karen herself now was dressed very neatly and cleanly. She was taught to read and write, and people said that she was pretty. But the mirror told her, You are more than pretty. You are beautiful. Karen grown into a fine young lady, but her stubborn attitude never changed, even when the old lady gave her a gift. No, I don't want to wear this, but I made this for you. When the old lady gave the food to Karen, I don't want to eat this. Wait at least one bite, please. No! Make me a French fry. The old lady gave up and she felt upset. The lady brought the French fries in the room of Karen, who is sitting on the bed. She said to the old lady, Look! I've grown up. All my shoes are small. Okay, we will buy you a new clothes and shoes. The old lady and Karen went to the store. Look, just like my favorite red shoes. I must have them. Let's buy them. Karen, you don't need the fancy red shoes. Just buy those black ones. I just don't want to black shoes. Oh, Karen, 
kawaii ni Sugar Stubble. The old lady spent the money to buy those fancy red shoes and spent the remaining money to buy those black shoes. They have to walk home so the old lady feet get hurt and he fe she feels so tired. She couldn't give up with the spoiled Karen. But Karen didn't care about the old lady. One day, the old lady told Karen that they will attend the funeral in town. She said to Karen, Karen, be sure to put on your black shoes, otherwise it will be disrespectful at the funeral. Because Karen is so stubborn, she chose the fancy red shoes and covered them with her skirt. However, at the funeral, everyone saw Karen shoes shining brightly under her skirt. Everyone talk about the Karen on how disrespectful she is. When the old lady heard about Karen, she get mad. You're so stubborn, Karen. I told you not to wear those red shoes. A young lord passed by. He was struck by a beauty of Karen. You're so beautiful, young lady. And what a fancy red shoes. You make me blush, young lord. Can I invite you to attend the party tonight? Can you come? Karen was so happy, so she couldn't help but to dance until she can stop dancing. It seemed as if the shoes had got power over them. The young prince had to run after her and seize her, but her feet continued to dance so that the young lord couldn't keep up again. Karen danced and danced just like there's no tomorrow. She tried to remove the shoes and she succeeded. But right after, her feet got red and tired. At home barefooted and when she see the old lady she cried and asked for forgiveness to the old lady 